Good evening and thanks for joining us. State money used to help educate at-risk students in Indiana is on a steady decline. It's called the Complexity Index Fund. Tonight, the Vigo County School Corporation learned more about this issue. There was a special presentation given by the Indiana Urban Schools Association. It explained how this directly affects rural and high poverty schools in the state. News 10's Kit Hanley is live in our newsroom tonight. She explains how this could impact Vigo County. Patrice Rondrell, state support for students in poverty has gone down 39 percent since 2015. Officials say a change in a certification process is to blame. The complexity index is additional dollars the state provides school systems. The money is meant to help impoverished students. Since 2015, the amount given to schools has decreased from $1.4 billion to $700 million. Dr. David Marcotte is the executive director of the Indiana Urban Schools Association. He says this decline is because thousands of students are going unreported. Here's why. In 2015, Indiana changed the direct certification process from free and reduced lunch forms to SNAP and TAMF enrollments. The self-reporting process has caused the decrease. Here's what the association is pushing for. Increases in state money for schools to be equal across the board. To fully fund special education programs and English language learning classes. Money from the complexity index is being used to help support both right now. And finally, a total revamp of the direct certification process. Interim Vigo County Superintendent Dr. Tom Balatevich explains why this is so important. We're still lacking that complexity index and spending that money in places where it shouldn't be directed. It should be directed to students in poverty. And we're having to use that to backfill other, other um, concerns that we have. An interesting thing to know is that Indiana and Illinois are the only two states in the country that fund the complexity index through SNAP and TAMP benefits. The majority of states pay for it through free and reduced lunch forms. Dr. Marcotte is working with Indiana lawmakers to change that. Also at tonight's board meeting, another discussion about bullying in Vigo County schools, this time at Otter Creek Middle School. Dr. Balatevich says the incident was reported and they're handling it. He encourages more students to report anything that happens to them. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kid Hanley, News 10. And finally from tonight's meeting, the Vigo County School Corporation added a new temporary communications director. In the past, the full-time role was filled by Bill Riley, who left at the beginning of 2022. Both Caitlin Lieberman and Teresa Stuckey served as interim directors after his departure. Now, Katie Shane will fill that role. She'll work 30 hours a week for a rate of $40 an hour. The role does not come with benefits. She'll assist in finding a new permanent or interim director during her time. 